Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, there is a common false teaching that is prevalent, not just in America, but around the world, that says, if I'm faithful and I believe God enough, God's going to bless me with health and comfort and prosperity. In other words, make you rich. And, and the truth is, following Jesus will bless you, uh, but there are no promises of wealth, comfort, or health. In, in fact, Jesus promises just the opposite. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, beginning of verse 16, here's what he said to his disciples. He said, Behold, I'm sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given you in that hour. That's kind of a cool promise, isn't it? So it'll be given you. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, in other words, the devil, how much more will they malign those of his household? Wow. Uh, it doesn't sound comfortable. It doesn't sound prosperous. It definitely doesn't sound like, uh, you know, all we get is an easy, cushy life because we love Jesus enough. But Jesus says, don't worry. Don't be surprised when this happens and don't worry. Uh, I love this. And he says, don't worry, because the Holy Spirit is in you and you won't blaspheme me. You won't deny me because you want to save your neck. I'm going to speak through you and the Spirit's going to declare Jesus is Lord. And so you don't have to be afraid, which I think is a great promise because most of us would be terrified of facing this kind of stuff. Uh, and look, Jesus says, don't be surprised when your biblical faith is attacked. Right now in America, you know, more and more the biblical beliefs are coming under attack. They're trying to marginalize us. They're trying to say we're crazy people. We're dangerous people. We're dangerous to our own children. We're dangerous to the communities. Look, if that bothers you, which it does bother me too, Jesus says, don't worry. They, they said worse things about me than they're saying about you. You're my disciple. You're one of me. Guess what? You're, you're going to get to suffer as well. And I know that doesn't sit well with all of us in our cushy American lives where we haven't really endured persecution in the name of Jesus for hundreds of years. But we need to go ahead and get over that and, and embrace whatever God has for us because no matter what we have to go through, the promise of heaven is still waiting for us because the one who endures to the end will be saved. And by the way, if you're saved, if you've experienced that life-changing relationship with Jesus, you're going to endure to the end. So I hope that encourages you and if it depresses you a little bit, hey, make an appointment and come talk to me because uh, these are the words of Jesus and he repeats them multiple times in the Gospels. So we need to go ahead and get comfortable with it. Have a great day. God bless.